Hi, welcome to all about mechanical engineering. This is our first video on theory of machines and we will start with the very basic concept and definitions which are required in theory of machines. That is mechanism and machine. What is the definition of mechanism? What is the definition of machine and differences between them? What are the functions of a mechanism and what are the functions of a machine? So by watching this video completely, you will have a very clear understanding between mechanism and machine. So let's get started. Let us consider a slider crank mechanism as I'm showing here. There is a fixed point to which I have attached one link and to this I have attached another link and here I have a slider which is being guided in this guide and is allowed to freely slide in this channel. So I have this fixed link where this link is connected. So what is the link? You may have a curiosity. Link is nothing but a basic element in a mechanism or a machine. Basic element which is connected in such a way that there is a certain amount of output. So what is that? Let us try to understand. When we'll frame the definition, you'll get the meaning. So I have a link number one here. So this is the same link which is being fixed. This is the second link. So let us say this is point O and this is point A. So OA is our link number two. From A to B, there is another element connected to it. So let us say this is link number three and this slider is separately attached with this third link so this slider becomes link number four so i have four links connected to each other now if certain amount of rotational input is given to this link number two so because of this rotation of oa this rotational motion of one element causes motion of other elements how if this gets rotated this connecting rod will come forward let us say this is our new position and according to that the piston will be having a new position means because of motion of one there is a motion of remaining elements in the system now as per definition, mechanism is a combination of various elements, usually rigid, usually rigid because we are using all rigid members here. So mechanism is a combination of various elements or links, usually rigid, assembled in such a way that motion of one element causes constrained and predictable constrained and predictable motion of remaining elements once again it is a combination of various elements usually rigid assembled in such a way that motion of one element causes constrained and predictable motion of remaining elements means when i have one element supplied with certain amount of input the remaining will be having a constrained and predictable motion when i say constrained means what let us try to understand the situation of this slider if you rotate link OA then slider is going to have horizontal movement that is linear movement along this line. Apart from this motion the slider cannot have any other type of motion. That is called as constrained motion means only desired type of motion can be obtained at this piston. Predictive means when I rotate OA, it is more obvious that 
This connecting rod will transmit this rotational motion from this point to this and will convert this rotational motion into linear motion of the piston. This is called as constrained and predictable motion of this element. So the definition is the combination of various elements usually rigid assembled in such a way that motion of one element causes constrained and predictable motion of remaining elements. Now what is the function of mechanism? The function of mechanism is either to transmit or modify motion or both. Means it is either used to transmit motion, either either used to modify the motion or both of them. In our case, it does both. It transmits from this location to this and it also modifies because here you have a rotational input and here you have a linear output. So it modifies. So this is about a mechanism. So hence it is called as mechanism. And that's why the name is slider crank mechanism because this is related to motions and it is a combination of various elements. Now mechanism does not deal with generation or conversion of work. It does not have any relation with work. It does not have any relation with forces. It is only study of motion. So here it doesn't matter. This arrangement is either made of plastic, made of wood or any other metal. Because we are not talking about their forces, their strength and their shape as well. We are talking about the motion. If you are making this model with the help of plastic and in other case you are making the same model, the same specifications in wood, then unless and until you have variation in sizes of this elements, you will not have any change in the motion or the length of piston travel you are getting from one point to another in case of plastic model and in case of wood model. So this is only related to motion and its study. Now coming back to second point that is a machine. The same arrangement I am drawing but I am having something additional to it. Let us say you have a crank and the crank is connecting rod and then connecting rod is having a piston and the piston is reciprocating inside a cylinder now. You have an input wall, you have an exhaust wall. Now, in this, if you have the crank rotated, then obviously the slider or the piston is going to reciprocate and there is certain amount of input, let us say this is a reciprocating engine. So certain amount of charge will be entering inside which is then combust or burnt and then exhaust gases will be thrown out. Now this is a machine. We all know engines are work producing devices. So why we are not calling it as a mechanism because here this arrangement is a single mechanism and in order to have this walls operated you need a separate mechanism. So here you have combination of mechanisms now. A machine can be a mechanism itself or it may be combination of mechanisms. Arranged in such a way that the input is converted into desired work. We all know for an engine the fuel is supplied which is burned then that energy is converted into mechanical work. So a machine basically functions to convert one form of energy into desired work. So here the function is different. Here you have to get mechanical work. You obtain work from it and that is the definition of a machine. What is a machine? It is a combination or single mechanism. It may be a mechanism or combination of mechanisms such that it converts the given input energy into desired work. This is a machine. So this is the difference between a mechanism and a machine. Hope it is very clear. 
you have understood up to this part. In the coming videos, we'll discuss the basic terms, remaining terms which are included in theory of machines and required for further study of various topics. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe our channel and stay connected with us. Thank you for watching this video.